It's Jeremy here from Oatlands Golf Club. I uh, thought I'd just check in with you. We've got two days to go before the golf course reopens. Um, we're certainly looking forward to seeing every, everyone here on Saturday and Sunday when we, uh, when we open things back up. And for those that can't get here because of the uh, because of the 5k restriction we look forward to seeing you sooner rather than later so i'm going to give you a tip today or it's a chipping technique that you can use you can use this at home in your backyard or in your front yard or maybe you can do it down the hallway um, or certainly give it a give it a crack next time you're here at the golf course so a lot of people come to me especially for chipping and they've got an issue with like duffing their chip shots when we duff a chip shot it means the club digs into the ground and the ball goes a meter or two in front of you, right? So you're ultimately playing the exact same chip shot um, two seconds after you've just hit one. So what I'm gonna do here is, what, what causes that firstly, right? What happens is when we swing the club back and through, what happens, a lot of people, they get their hands too low to the ground. So I might give you a little bit of a demonstration as to what that looks like, right? They get their hands too low to the ground like this, they're way forward, and what happens is as they swing back, the club digs into the ground. So if you think about the golf club here, I've got my lob wedge here. That's the heel, that's the toe, right? The heel is the part closest to the hosel, and the hosel is the part connected to the shaft. If, the, if that heel leads into the grass first, often you're gonna take a little bit of a divot and you've gotta be really good to time it, all right? So what we're gonna do here is instead of having our hands super low, we're gonna take the heel out of it by having the, our hands higher at our setup position. So that means the toe of the club is going to be sort of sitting on the ground where the heel is not. So it is a little bit uncomfortable, but it avoids that duff chip shot. So let me give you a demonstration as to what that looks like. So as I set myself up, what, what, what I'm going to do is I'm trying to like, so low hands like that, that means the ball, I'm going to dig into the ground. So when I set myself up, the idea is to have our hands a little bit higher, have that toe of the club on the ground, and get that heel off the off the grass just that tiny bit so set up to it like i would hit a normal chip shot so just being mindful that my hands are a lot higher they're up higher that way so it is a little bit uncomfortable i'm trying to hit this hit this just off the toe swing the club back and through and that way i get a little bit more of a sweeping action so try this at home get used to it, have a crack at it next time you're at the golf course. So the idea is to, if that's the ground there, there's the club. We don't want our hands super low to the ground. If we're super low, the heel's gonna dig into the grass. Get your hands a little bit higher, get that heel of the club, the bounce of the club up off the ground. That's gonna allow you to sweep it back and forth quite nicely. It's definitely helped me over the years. Gets rid of that, that duff shot. It's really good for a bad lie. So. Give that one a go, hope that helps. We look forward to seeing everyone on the golf course and take care.